Well, if you live here, you know just how dangerous and deadly creatures that roam our deserts can be. And surviving a poisonous bite from one of them has everything to do with timing. CBS 5's Ryan Hare one man, has one man's story that might just save your life tonight. He joins us live. Ryan. The scene we're looking out for snakes ourselves tonight because Arizonans know that these desert landscapes are full of snakes. We expect to run into them outside, but we do not expect to be greeted by them in the most unpleasant way on the doormats of our homes. So that was actually in the hospital. I mean, okay. your foot is twice the size. Yeah. Ron Webster. My cankles. <laughs> can laugh now. That worried, you know, sinking feeling inside. But on Saturday night, the doormat wasn't so welcoming on his foot. I kind of felt something under my foot, and then I felt a sharp pain. And I initially thought I got poked with a, like a piece of choy. This was no cactus. This desert dweller had fangs. It was so small. I wasn't sure if it was a rattlesnake or a non-venomous. A young snake just inches longer than a remote control, not big enough to make that signature rattle, but venomous enough to make Ron pay a price. It felt like dipping your foot in boiling water. And as it was getting worse, it was like it was moving up. Firefighters knew he needed antivenom. The poison control center made sure they knew which hospital had the right drugs. Two days of pain meds and antivenom later. Blue, red, real tender, and again, just ballooned up. Ron's back home, moving gingerly, thanks to the swollen foot and the reminder that another snake could be around the corner, but not the one who created chaos on Saturday night. When I got home, this snake had mysteriously beheaded itself. So I guess it felt bad. Ron got that antivenom about an hour and a half after the initial bite, helping with the initial recovery. But I've been texting him tonight, and he says he just got his blood test results back from the poison control center, and his blood platelets have been dropping, which could be a sign that he needs more of that antivenom. He's already had 16 vials. Reporting live in Phoenix tonight, I'm Ryan Herrer for Arizona's Family.